Hello friends, this video on organisms and population part 18 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let us now talk about age distribution in a population. Now when you think of an individual, there is a specific age associated with that individual. Let's say uh, an individual can be 10 years old, the individual can be 25 years old, the individual can be 60 years old, right? But when it comes to a population, a population consists of huge number of individuals. Some of them might be 10 years old, some might be 25, some might be 55. So in a population, what we talk about is age distribution. That is, since a population has individuals belonging to various age groups, we, uh, we define age distribution in something like this. For example, we say that, okay, there are 100 individuals who belong to the age group of less than 10 years. There are 200 individuals who belong to the age group of 20 to 40 years. There are say 150 individuals who belong to the age group of 40 to 60 years. So that, that's how we define age distribution in a population. Now the best way to describe the age distribution in a population is with the use of age pyramids. So what are age pyramids? So these are structures formed when the age distribution is plotted for a population. Now for every population, we will see a specific pattern of this pyramid. Now this is called pyramid because of course it is in the shape of a pyramid, something like this. So let, let's have a look at uh, uh, an age pyramid. So if we take age on the y-axis, this is how the pyramid looks like. So you see as the age is increasing, the pyramid is becoming smaller because the number of individuals in the population is reducing. So there can be different patterns of the age pyramids and these patterns of age pyramids tell us a lot about the population change. It can tell us whether the population increases or decreases with age. So what is the pattern like? How is the population growing? Whether it is growing very fast or it is growing very slow or uh, it is declining. So it, it gives us a lot of idea in that sense. So now when you look at uh, this pyramid, so the bottom pyramid represents the pre-reproductive phase. So this represents pre-reproductive phase. Then you have this phase which represents the reproductive phase. And finally, you have these phases, which represent the post reproductive phase. So looking at this, what do you understand? That the number of individuals in the reproductive phase is the maximum. Now, what is reproductive phase? Now, normally in case of human beings, we say that the reproductive phase starts when someone is say 20 years old and it exists till 35 or 38. So somewhere between the age group of 20 to 35. So that's the uh, reproductive phase. So you see gradually as aging happens, the number of individuals in the population starts reducing. And as you reach towards the old age, what happens? A lot of people start dying either because of disease or illness or deterioration in their health. So what happens? Then total population starts reducing. Now we will see that how can we predict about the type of population, like the growth and prospects of population looking at the age pyramid. So this is one age pyramid which we are looking at. Let us look at another age pyramid. So if you look at this age pyramid, you see that the pre-reproductive phase and the reproductive phase, they are like similar. So the number of individuals is like, uh, it is similar and the reduction is pretty less. So if, as the age is increasing here also, the number of individuals are reducing, but the decrease is less when compared to scenario one. So let us call this scenario one, let us call this scenario two. So in scenario two, the decrease is less. Again, if you look at another type of scenario, so in this scenario three, what do you see? The bottom one is less and then in the reproductive phase, the population has increased and again it has decreased. So what does it show? So you see in each of these, the pattern of the pyramids are very much different. And let's see 
what each of these explains to us. So this shows, this age pyramid shows rapid growth in the population. The second scenario represents slow growth, that is a kind of stable population. So this represents slow growth and the third scenario represents a declining population. Why is it a declining population? Because you can see that the number of individuals in the pre-reproductive phase is very less. That means no new organisms are not being born. So looking at the age pyramids, we can say that the, whether the population would have rapid growth or slow growth or it would be like declining population. So when it has rapid growth, that would mean the population is expanding. But it, it is just the reverse of three. So one and three are like the two extreme scenarios. In one scenario, the population is expanding very fast. In the other scenario, the population is decre declining. And it is all determined by the base of the pyramid. So when you look at the base of the pyramid here, you see huge number of individuals are there at the base of the pyramid, which shows that they are capable of going to further phases. But when you look at this one, you see that it, the number of individuals are very less here. In fact, they have reduced. So it shows that this is an example of declining population. So age pyramids are very important because they tell us so much about the growth prospects of a population. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.